Hi friends, it's Gloria of Golden Bucket Farm. I am the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube and Jersey Lady One on Pinterest. Welcome to my channel. It's Sunday afternoon and that means it's time for my weekly Pinterest video. If you want to check out the first four weeks, you will find a link to my Pinterest video playlist and to everything else I mentioned in this video in the description box below. Since this is week number five in the series, I thought I would highlight my five busiest boards on Pinterest. When I changed from a personal to a business account, Pinterest began giving me all kinds of stats on my pins and boards. That's how I know which of my boards get the most traffic. Just so you know, there's no fee for having a business account. Another place to get information on your Pinterest activity as well as Instagram is from tailwindapp.com. They offer some of their stats for free also and with no credit card necessary. Yay! Sometime soon I will try to do a stats video showing what all you can learn from the analytics of your Pinterest. Really fascinating. Well, enough twaddle. My fifth busiest board this week is my house board. By the way, you will notice that your busiest boards change from week to week. It's interesting to see those changes over time. Pinterest tells me that my audience is especially interested in home decor, which explains the number of repins from this board. Actually, this week, however, the pin that got the most action on my house board was more of a furniture or DIY building pin. It was called Shared Boys Bedroom with Built-in Beds. Ha! Right, just try saying that three times fast. This pin leads to a family blog documenting home product projects they tackle. And this was, uh, they had actually, an awkward jog in their son's bedroom about four feet up off the floor, which they turned into a unique design element. By tucking one of the boys' beds into the nook, it turned something weird into something wonderful. They actually built this gorgeous bed slash storage slash desk unit from scratch, but you could do the same, I think. Uh, with ready-made stackable drawers and twin bed platforms, they made the desktop too from reclaimed wood, can you believe it, and showed us how they did it in a YouTube video. Of course, the link is in the description box below. It seems to me that you could use the top off an old table or desk to do this job if you're less talented or less ambitious. Well done to this family for a beautiful project and inspiration on how we can um, turn design lemons in our own homes into really special places. Number four busy board was crafts and DIY that looks like people have recovered from the holidays and are getting busy crafting again. I have started to divide this board into sections the first one being crafts using buttons. A popular pin this week was a great way to recycle old watches. I love this idea of putting copies of treasured family photos in under the crystals of old wristwatches. It would work for pocket watches or vintage alarm clocks too, I should think. There are no directions with this pin, just the picture. So I would say there would be a learning curve involved. Yeah, for sure. If wearing your ancestors is not your cup of tea, the same idea could be used with an old pocket watch under a glass dome or for the face of an old-fashioned alarm clock. I am really into genealogy work, so this pin is a honey in my mind. My yard and garden board came in at number three on the busy list this week. 
I expect this board to move up in the ratings as winter melts. Well, it's not melting away by us today. It's snowing. But anyway, people will be starting planning and planting their gardens. We have been perusing the seed catalogs at our house. Have you been doing that too? An often repinned idea this week was a simple plant support system. This pin leads to a gardening forum with a few pictures and a bit of discussion about using hog panels for holding up plants such as raspberries. Oh, yummy. We have those. Tomatoes. Grow those. And green peppers, too. Hog panels are ready-made fencing of welded heavier wire, and they're available at farm supply stores. These were cut into sections, turned horizontally, and slipped down over wooden fence posts with support below. We find hog panels used vertically are good for climbing plants like pole beans and peas. In a windy garden area um, like ours here on the prairie, this windproof system can be a real help. The second busiest board was my Guta Essen equals food board. I pin all kinds of recipes, but Pinterest shows that my followers like desserts and appetizers best this time of year. The hands down winner pin was a recipe for melting moments cookies. This pin has the recipe right in the picture. I remember my mom and grandma making these goodies. It's hard to believe, but in addition to many repins, 11 people, wow, gosh, that's amazing, posted pictures of their results. Well done, guys. And there were 24 separate comments. Besides, few people seem to have troubles with the dough spreading out during baking and the cookies turning a bit crumbly. My suggestions are to chill the dough really well before baking and letting the baked cookies mellow. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen a few days in a tin if you can possibly resist the temptation to nibble. And now on to my board that had the most traffic this week. It is one of my newest boards too. It's, of course, the farmhouse style board with an astounding 5,557 repins. This style of decorating is gaining in popularity and people are looking for ideas of how to add farmhouse elements to their house decor or to do a total redo. Pinterest says my repinners like how to do it yourself projects and this pin certainly is one of those. It is called mosaic door table. The depressed sections of an old panel door were filled with mosaics made from broken china and pottery. New or reclaimed legs were added to make a table. What a masterpiece this would be for dining on your screened in porch or sunroom. Okay, there we have it. My five bit busiest boards and five popular pins of the week. I'm so happy you joined me today. Please come back next week for another in my series of Pinterest inspired videos and don't forget to stay tuned after the credits for this week's Pinterest humor. Our bit of Pinterest humor this week is what a lot of us may be saying to ourselves just right now. I see all these cute projects on Pinterest and think, I just hope I can clean off the end of my kitchen counter today. <laughs> oh dear, good luck with that. Well, Take care, dear viewers. Ta-ta for now, and as always, happy pinning!